Rakesh. Hi. How are you doing? Fine, sir. Okay. Uh, quickly introduce yourself. Uh, thanks for giving this opportunity to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Rakesh. I'm from Medhi Patna. I completed my B.Tech in Swami Vivekananda Institute of Technology under specialization of uh, computer science and engineering. As a part of my academics, I did my project uh, with the name of Smart Farming using machine learning and data analytics. And uh, my uh, goal is I want to be a professional in programming language and gaining experience. And um, I am a self-motivated and uh, a quick learner and well-disciplined. And uh, I am coming to my family members. There are four members including me, uh, my father and uh, two other members. Okay, good Rakesh. So this is a technical round for you. So you specified Python as your key skills in the technical. So we will start the technical round on Python. So first tell me about what is Python and what are the applications of Python. Uh, Python is a uh, internet interpreter, a general purpose high, uh, high uh, programming language. And this is uh, created by uh, Bureau and Prasam in 1991. And the applications of Python are uh, web development and software development and game development and machine learning and scripting, etc. Okay. Okay. So here, um, Python is a statically typed programming or dynamically typed programming? Uh, dynamical typing. Uh, so, do you know data types in Python? Yes. Okay. So we have so many things, uh, generally data types are there, <coughs> basically uh, like list, uh, table, right? So we will consider this too. And where to use list and where to use table? When you prefer list, when you prefer table in the program? Yeah, uh, list and tuples are both different data types in Python. And uh, when we write protected data, uh, we use uh, tuples. When time to time changes modifier occurs, we use a list. Okay. So, and what is the another difference in between list and tuple? The lists are uh, mutable. Um, uh, tuples are mutable. Okay. okay. And then, do you know about sets in Python? Yes, sir. Yeah, can you explain about set? Um, set is a uh, 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 another one of the data types in Python, and set is uh, represented with the open flower bracket and so, uh, closed flower bracket. And set input type is a dicta, dicta class dict. And so it is not class dict, it is set on this. Set. But uh, input function it returns in the dicta. Uh, so set is uh, immutable, a mutable data type. It has stores immutable data types uh, like tuple, list, integers. And uh, sets are unordered, there is no indexing and we, we cannot retrieve. Sets, okay. are, sets do not have duplicate values. Okay. Okay. So I have a list. I have a list. So into that list, I want to add another sequence data elements. So like I want to add, I have a tuple. I want to add, I want to add all the tuple elements into that list. How can you do that? One of the method in the list that uh, extend method we use uh, we use to append uh, add uh, add into the list. Uh, so by using extend we can able to add another sequence data types into list, right? Okay. If I if I want to add only a single element into the list, then if uh, if element uh, um, element add in the list uh, end of the list we use append. If we know the index value, we use uh, insert method. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what is meant by slicing? Slicing is uh, uh, setting up, setting main, uh, set, setting sub object from main object. Okay. And uh, syntax for uh, uh, slicing is uh, of, uh, object name, square bracket, start index, stop index, step size. And by default, uh, start index is uh, zero, and stop index is uh, it is compulsory to define up to the last element, and step uh, step size is by default is one. Our wish to give how much we want. 
So what is uh, forward direction slicing and uh, backward direction slicing? Um, there are two types of uh, um, slicing. If uh, if negative uh, forward direction is positive index from left to right, and negative index is uh, right to left. How can you do that? What is the key constraint to do that? Negative index. Where you need to provide that? In the syntax of slicing? Object. You see, step size is there, right? So, when step size is negative, what will happen? It will be uh, reverse string. Or yes, that is backward direction slicing. So here I have a string, you can take your own string. So you need to write two ways of reversing it. Two ways. In two ways, you need to complete that task. Like two methods you can use. In two ways, you need to reverse the string by writing a program. Right? You can write a program. Yes, sir. Here I am taking one object and giving a, a string as, as as apple and again I am taking a, b as an object with the object name as uh, a. Here I am giving negative step size. Step size as minus one. It means it, uh, it is reversing um, only one element uh, reversing so it will be the output as e l p p a this is uh, this is with the slicing with negative index This is the one of the method uh, uh, writing reverse string uh, with the uh, slicing. Without slicing, I am taking one variable like my string. I am taking as a string uh, apple only. And again, I am taking a, one more variable new string. I am giving empty empty string with the uh, assigning uh, reversing string. Here I am taking for loop assigning my string to reverse it. Yeah, here I am taking for loop to reverse my string. Um, here a string comes from A. It will be assigned to the last of the uh, string like uh, here A. After the after that it will repeat uh, loop for how many times we here, here we have. So next this P will assign uh, before the P. Uh, 
uh, A, and it will goes uh, goes uh, up to the E. The output will be E L P P A. Okay, Rakesh, your explanation was nice. Uh, and, uh, so, do you know about recursion? Yes. Uh, can you explain about recursion? Uh, uh, recursion is a process of, uh, in um, terms of a recursion uh, function itself, in simple words, it is a process of uh, recursion function itself. It will divide, it, it will splitting down into small, small uh, functions and it is easier to uh, execute program to the user. Uh, so what are the features of OOP? Oops, uh, there are four features of uh, uh, OOPs in Python. Python is an object oriented programming system. So we have four uh, features in Python. Uh, one is uh, encapsulation and one is abstraction and one is uh, inheritance and one is polymorphism. And uh, encapsulation is a, is a process of wrapping data method and uh, uh, data method to act, act as a single unit. There are three types of uh, encapsulation. Okay. Yeah. And then, what are the libraries do you know in Python? So, what are the types of files uh, you can handle in Python? Uh, read, write. Types of files. Like text files are there, binary files are there. Okay, you know about text files, right? Yes. So, what are the methods that you can apply over text files? Okay, okay, leave it. <coughs> okay, okay, right. So, that's it from my side. So, I'll let you know the feedback.